up. Could you do this? Our adventurers run and jump in an awesome challenge. Both teams have six members each. The tension is mounting. There are tears and threats. It's going to end up like a war. I'm JK and welcome to Escape from Scorpion Island. And let me tell you, it's all going on here. Hiya, I'm Joel, and as you join us, our teams are neck and neck. Everything is worth fighting for today. But who will seize the day? It's anyone's guess. At first sight, Scorpion Island seems the perfect destination. A tropical paradise full of beauty and wonder. But first impressions can be deceptive. The island also has a tricky side because Team Sting and Team Claw are being tested to their very limits to find out who's got what it takes to escape the island's clutches. But the two teams are not alone. The island is holding people prisoner deep in the jungle. Each day, the island selects some of its captives to compete against each other in the Limbo Challenge. The winners are offered up as human prizes. Having watched the captives compete, Sting and Claw must each select one captive. Sting and Claw then do battle, and the victorious team takes home their prize. Ultimately, the team with the most members has the best chance of escape. At the moment, Team Sting have six team members, and Team Claw have six too. Only one team will take the lead today, so it's all to play for. There are four captives left in limbo, but that's all about to change. Both Sting and Claw are desperate to add numbers to their teams, and they must do that if they want to win the final battle and escape the island. They will need the strength of superheroes to conquer this big challenge. At the tempestuous skeleton falls, the adventurers will throw themselves out over the edge to smash skulls pulled up into their fly path. So any fear of heights will have to be overcome in this massive test of speed and dexterity. Telling you, Joel, we've got to be talking Superman here. Yeah, underpants over the trousers and everything. Yeah, but who will demonstrate superpowers this time? Will it be Sting or will it be Claw? Whoever does will take the lead. Now, let's remind ourselves how they got this far. Last time, Team Sting won the Ultimate Jeopardy Challenge, Reckless Rally, and won their original team member, Alex, back from limbo. We can release Alex from limbo and he can join Team Sting. <laughs> if, if I hadn't won and these guys hadn't won, I wouldn't be here. But like you are! Yeah! Yeah. I'm so glad that I've, I'm back and I've, I've been welcomed into Sting once again. I've been stung again. And I'm just really, really happy that my team actually got me out of limbo. And I'm just really stoked at, at the moment. I can't put it into words. But in return, the island demanded that Oliver from Claw was sacrificed back to limbo. And he worked so hard to escape and get into a team in the first place. What was it like being a member of Claw and then having to come back to Limbo again? Claw was really great. It was like far, the their seating area was like five times as big as this. They had bongos and uh, it was just it was really good and we had great fun and I really enjoyed my experience in Claw. I've just got back to Limbo and it it feels really good. Um, well. 
well, I don't know, it doesn't feel good, but um, it, it doesn't feel too bad. I mean, they're really welcoming. Do you have as much fun there as you did here playing Limbo? Oh, no. Uh, Don't I let your family down? No, uh, I... I... Uh, I... Uh, 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 so what were the people in Team Claw like then? Uh, the people in Team Claw were really welcoming when when they brought me in and uh, they're really great people there. They work really well as a team. It's very laid back and you have a fantastic time. Over at Team Claw, Tara's upset they've lost Oliver. When they said that Sting had won um, and Ollie said he'd leave, I um, basically started crying. I was really upset because I really like Ollie and um, yeah, it was really upsetting because no one really deserved to go. You see, the only reason I cried is because I'd miss Ollie because he's a good teammate. Yeah. I didn't cry because we lost. I can handle losing. I don't mind. I wanted to take Ollie's place and go to Limbo, but he wouldn't let me because he, he didn't want to be selfish. And he knows what it's like in Limbo because he's been there before. So I think he's a hero for Team Claw. It's very sad, and, but he'll always be a hero here in Claw. Having lost Oli today, I think the mood's gone a little bit down, but we're trying to work our way up to happiness again because we know that tomorrow we're going to win the challenge. We're all really down. We all miss him a lot. I don't think um, lots of people. I don't think one person misses him the most. Um, I think we just all miss him. We're all together in a group, and we just all miss him. But we're going to get him back no matter what. Even though he's not a power play, which they're going to be looking for power plays, we're getting Ollie back because he brought the team together. As soon as he came, the team just got closer for some reason. He's an amazing lad. He's really, he's like really soft and gentle, and he's like he shows his emotions out. He's just, oh, he just he completes the team, and I love him to bits, and I really want him to come back and claw. After Sting trashed their camp a few days ago, Claw is upset by the loss of Oliver, so they decide to take revenge on Team Sting. But they seem to be rubbing it in our faces loads, so it's just not good sportsmanship. They deserve revenge because um, they, they were really um, quite mean about winning. Even though we lost, uh, we still said, well done. You did well, but some of their team members, they come up and they start pointing at us. They go, in your face, in your face, in your face. So I think they did deserve it. We kind of took all of their furniture out of the camp and put it near this big log. Uh, we wind up all the hammocks, so that's going to take them some time to put right. Yeah, we've done our job. I think that's it, guys. We've done our job. Really happy that we've done that now, because... We're just going to keep it a secret and we're just going to sit there and act like nothing's happened. We've got them back, big style. Quick, we better go quick. Go. As Sting <laughs> returns to camp, they discover it's been trashed. Up tables. Guys, I'm loving this. Frankly, I like it better without the tables. There's more room. The first day I the get chair and there's the table and they're all upside down. I like it. Claw really did a sort of dumb prank. They copied what we did. They took our furniture and placed them somewhere else. Original. Can we have a little help here, please? Hit me where the sun don't shine. So we can just what? Hide it under. They killed their fire, that's not fair. I mean, I'm not that surprised that they tried to get payback because, I mean, we did it. <laughs> but I think, I think it was a bit mean at this time because we just turned everything upside down and they put everything ages away and we had to go take That was just a really stupid prank. You know, if they don't stop, the levels will be stepped up. It's going to end up like a war. <laughs> this is a warning to Chloe. Cease pranks or it will go up a level. Yeah. Or, if, or, if, or, if, or when someone licks a spoon and then they rub it all over your dessert. That, that's not nice. Or maybe it is. The island is still holding onto four captives in limbo, and Oliver is now amongst them. Claw is desperate to win Oliver back. Will he be selected to play the limbo challenge by the island? We're about to find out. Hidden away. 
in the dark jungle is a mysterious clearing. It is the home of a mound of rocks with amazing powers. This is the Stone of Selection. Each day, the Stone of Selection will choose a handful of the Limbo captives and force them to compete for the chance to join Sting or Claw. But living inside the Stone of Selection is something dark and twisted. Here's what happened at the Stone of Selection last night. Hello, Limbo captives. Ollie, what's it like being back in limbo? Well, I was only out of limbo for a couple of days, so it's just home sweet home, really. Scorpion has until the sands of time run out to make its selection for the next challenge. You may put your hands inside the stone. Livy, the scorpion has picked you to play the next island challenge. Jack, marked white. Alex, marked white. And Oliver has been marked blue by the scorpion. Jack, you get to do another limbo challenge. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um... Two in a row now, so that'll be a really good chance to get out of limbo. And I'm working with Alex, so, and he's really mentally strong, so that's a good thing. Alex, you're desperate to get out of limbo, aren't you? Totally, absolutely. You just want to join a team. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't even been, I haven't even been selected by Sting or Claw yet, so that even that'll be an accomplishment. So all four limbo captives, you will be taking part in the limbo challenge tomorrow. Have a good night. Go back to your camps. Good night. Thank good night. you. Good night. Bye. In over the edge. Alex and Jack will be pitted against Livy and Oliver. One of these Limbo captives will be joining Sting or Claw at the end of today. Out of the four Limbo captives playing today, there are two power players up for grabs. Livy with head start. On her first day, she was marked red, the sign of the power player, and was told to keep it a secret. Head start. This power play allows Livy and her team to start a challenge before her rivals. This power play will be a great future advantage. The second power player is Alex, with his power play, Freeze. Freeze has the ability to stop time. On his command, the opposition must freeze, at which point the rival team must stop dead for 20 seconds, allowing his team to catch up or streak ahead. Livy and Alex can only use their power plays once they've joined Sting or Claw. The teams will be desperate to win a power player, but their identity is a secret. The island has built a runway to launch our adventurers out over the raging Skeleton Falls. They must sprint along it and launch themselves far enough across to have a chance of smashing the skulls hauled up by the adventurers at the bottom of the falls. Whichever group smashes the most skulls wins. So you've seen the challenge, how cool is that? Amazing! Yeah. Amazing. Ollie, you look excited. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds really good, and I think it's going to um, really show Livy's like uh, strong point. Alex, you're scared of heights. How are you going to cope with this? I'm not in the air, so I'll be all right. And Jack, you look excited. Uh, you think uh, it's so cool? Yes. Yeah. You're going to win? Yes. So you really do need to talk tactics. Yeah. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Talk tactics. Go on. I think that uh, we should do the skulls in descending order, yeah. so then you know just to winch yeah. me down a little, just winch it up a little bit more. A little bit. And I'll, down a bit, and I'll try to keep it at the same speed all the time when I'm running so I yeah. don't get really tired out and be a rubbish run. Because the quicker we get there, the better. Yeah. 
you should be ready for your heart is yeah, tired for 150, 200 percent into it, yeah. 57 billion percent. Because yeah. you gotta pull me hard, and I'll put my hardest into that running, okay? I'll put my absolute hardest. Cause I wanna, I wanna win this, and I wanna help everybody get out. Yeah, and I should see who, who impressed things at all, really. There's a lot at stake for Jack. He's been in limbo for simply ages now. He's played six of the limbo challenges so far. Do it, Dan. You can do it. Come on, that's it. Giving him plenty of chances to escape, but never quite Yay! made it onto one of the teams as yet. He's physically strong and has masses of common sense. He was a bit clumsy, but um, that's how things are. People make mistakes in life. And he's so supportive of his teammates. I felt really proud of Ayla because she's um, come, uh, become of her fears. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. He'll be a great addition to any team. How will he do today? Will he escape the confines of Limbo? Right, listen up, guys. The time for talking is over. This is where the action begins. And I've got a funny feeling this is going to be incredible. It's time for Over the Edge. Stepping up for the whites, it's Jack, with Alex hauling up the skulls. Three, two, one, go! This is a fantastic first launch for Jack. The question is, how far will he get? <sighs> oh, oh, not quite far enough. He can't reach the skulls. He's like two meters away from them. Come on, Jack! Sorry! Jack flew across, but he didn't fly far enough to hit one of the skulls, so he's got to get back and do it all over again. And he looks even more determined this time. Another great takeoff. Come on, all the way. He's nearly there. He's inching away. Come on, Jack! <laughs> yes! Woo! Oh, and he's hit two. The Whites are off the mark in fine style. Well done, Jack! Jack's launch is really impressive, and he holds his flying position like an absolute natural. Alex pulled the skulls into place, and Jack's perfect strike took out not one, but two for White. It's great to see Jack and Alex working well together. It was not so long ago they didn't see eye to eye. Jack's third run. Can he build on his success? Well, he's putting everything into these jumps. Is he going to get far enough? Oh, yeah. No! Inches, inches away. So he's got to go back to the start and do that again. And Jack is uh, swimming back. Come on, Jack! Run four. He must be getting tired now. But he's pushing on through. Yes! Oh, he's got another one. Jack has really got a system going now, but it looks like it might be wearing him out. No, that's another awesome run. Remember, the Limbo captives have got to individually impress the teams in order to get picked. And it sounds like Jack's really wowing Sting. He's just jumping off there like he's not jumping off a waterfall. Um, he's running as if his life depends on it and flying like a superhero. Go on, Jack, all the way! Can you get there? Yes! Five flights in, and Jack's still not getting tired. And Alex is still heaving the skulls into just the right spot. The result? Another direct hit. Last run now for the Whites. But can they go out with a bang? Jack looks like Superman oh, flying through the sky with a baseball bat in his hand. Can he do it? Not those skulls, Jack. You've hit those already. That's such bad luck. So Jack and Alex did pretty well there. Superheroes in training, I reckon. They managed to get four skulls. Yay! Battling for the blues, it's Oliver. And hauling up their skulls, it's Livy. Livy really wanted to be the runner in this challenge, but has injured her leg. So Oliver steps up. 
The pressure's on. Can they outdo the whites? Three, two, one, go! This is Ollie's first run, go Ollie! Flying through the air with a baseball bat. Liv is instantly using all her strength on the ropes. And Oliver, well, he's trying to swim to the skulls. Didn't make it, he's got to go back and do that again. Oh dear. Oliver's got himself into a right spin. Ollie can't find his feet. He's got to get back on the platform. Ollie! He's back up. Good luck! He's not let it put him off. That's a great run. Come on! Can he get that far? No! Just short again. Throws the bat in desperation. Oliver is totally determined. <laughs> so after such an impressive launch, you can really understand his disappointment. You can see the frustration on his face. Come on, Ollie, get it next time. Come on, Livy. Third run. Can he push himself to reach the skulls this time? Fly through the air. Forcing momentum to get to the finish line. Inches, inches. Hit it, Ollie! And he's done it! Yes! Well done, Ollie! He's got the first goal. Brilliant stuff. This time, Oliver looked totally focused. No! His run was fast and gave him massive momentum. So he finally made it all the way to the skulls for one dramatic strike. Great stuff. He's off again. Now, can he keep the hits coming? Here he comes. He's flying through the sky. He's really got to get there. One, Ali. Libby's pulling for all she's worth down there. One last lunge. Oh, my God. Ah! So frustrated. In this game, inches really do count. No hanging around, no moping. He's going straight out again. And it looks good. Come on, Ollie! Going for the second skull. And he's got it! Come on, Ollie! Oliver must be exhausted by this point, but he powers on through, flying straight out to the skulls and is rewarded by another right-on-target strike. Oliver's climbing back up for his last flight. Oh, and he slipped! This challenge has really taken its toll on Oliver after a very strong start. He's back up, but can the Blues make their last attempt count? Come on, Ollie! Come on, lady! A strong run and a terrific leap. This looks impressive. Can he get there? I'm gonna make it. One last lunge. I'm gonna make it. Oh, nearly. Nearly, but not quite. A heartbreaking finish for the Blues. Ollie was convinced he could do it. I'm gonna make it. Oh. Sadly, he didn't. How frustrating was that for Ollie? Livy was shouting words of encouragement. It was great to watch, though. Here's the highlights. The first run for the Whites. Jack ran impressively, but couldn't quite reach the skulls hauled up by Alex. For the Blues, Oliver gave it his all, but also fell short of the skulls pulled into place by Livy, and he ended up in a proper spin. Run two. Jack looked totally focused, flew out well, and managed an amazing double strike. Two skulls for the Whites. The pressure was on the Blues. They put everything into it, but Oliver fell frustratingly short of the mark. Run three. Jack jumped impressively, but he also failed to make contact with the skulls. Oliver absolutely powered out, and with Liver's encouragement, Got the Blues off the mark. Run four. 
Jack got back on form and batted away another skull for the Whites, taking them up to three. The Blues really needed a comeback. But for all Oliver's speed in the air, they couldn't quite connect. Run five. The Whites kept totally focused, and Jack managed another direct hit, taking them to four skulls. And he did, powering through the air to his second successful strike, taking the Blues to two. Final run, Jack made it right across, but ended up swinging at skulls he'd already hit. Oliver looked exhausted as he gave it one last giant push. Oh, oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. But he couldn't quite make contact. So frustrating. Duff, well, I can now reveal the winners of the Limbo Challenge are Jack and Alex. Woo! Good one. Woo! Which means, unfortunately, Livy and Ollie, <laughs> you return to Limbo for another day with absolutely nothing. So uh, off you go. Sorry, Ollie. So Alex and Jack won the Limbo Challenge and are now up for grabs as human prizes with the chance Woo! to join Sting or Claw. We'll find out more soon. And don't forget that Alex holds a power play, which will be crucial to either team as they race to escape the island. For Oliver, there's no chance of him returning to Team Claw today. So he's going back to limbo with Livy. Oh, it's been an eventful day here on Scorpion Island, and another limbo captive is about to be released. But who will win the day when Team Sting and Team Claw go head to head? You don't want to miss it. Next time, the limbo captives take on another grueling survival challenge. And who will win Ultimate Jeopardy and take the lead?